Hey, what's going on everybody? Fishhook Terry here. Today, we're gonna to talk about the three trailers that you should be using on your chatterbaits in 2019. So let's get into it. I'm very sorry to interrupt this train party, but will you check out some fishing lures with me? What other colors? Oh my gosh. Yeah. Those are pretty what, cool. Baby Ella? Let's see what those look like. You think baby wants to see the rage menace? <laughs> Wow, so intense with the fishing love. Spring is coming really fast. For me, that's time to tie on a chatterbait. So I've got my little box here. We're gonna talk about which trailer that I choose for the time of year and situation to help you get more bites on your chatterbait. If you haven't already watched my jackhammer chatterbait videos, I'll link them here. You guys can go check those out. Definitely a must if you're considering a standard chatterbait or maybe even one of the jackhammers, my personal favorite, so go watch those. For me, there are three types of chatterbait trailers I like to use. All of them are from Strike King with the Rage Tail. Each of them has their own place and time to use them. So let's start off with early spring cold water. For that early spring bite, I like to go with the Rage Menace one of these guys here. For me, in the springtime with cold water, the reason why I choose this is it gives off some great action with these rage tail little claws. But again, you can see it's a narrow, more compact design. In the springtime when it's really cold and those fish are starting to come up and starting to feed, you want this compact design. You want it to be a little smaller. You don't want a real heavy flapping action from your trailer. You want it to be a little more subtle, and this type of presentation does that. You can tell that this color really matches well. This is the half ounce jackhammer chatterbait. This is the B height delight color. So it's got some green pumpkin, it's got some chartreuse. This trailer matches really well. Those cold water situations, this is where this really shines. Again, it's really compact. It doesn't have a crazy action to it. It's a lot more subtle. This is what I'm gonna. This is what I'm gonna tie on first part of spring. This is gonna be good for when again those bass are moving up. They're really starting to get in that mode of feeding, getting prepared for the spawn. This is where this more compact design really shines. Please. Okay, back up just a smidgey. Ooh. So what is that one? Is that the Rage Craw? Is that a craw? Tell Daddy Craw. Are you excited for craws? Wow, look at those moves, dude. When spring warms up, those fish start to spawn and are really biting aggressively. That's where I'm gonna go to my, my favorite. This is the Rage Craw. Now, as you can see, this is another Be Height Delight. Now, you can see that this trailer on this jackhammer is a much bigger profile, and as this comes through the water, these claws are going to give off a much more aggressive action. It really broadens the presentation of this chatterbait, and these type of claws really catch a lot of water. So they're moving a lot more erratically, and it's really gonna help those big fish in the spring who are really trying to eat, really find this, really get their attention, and get them to bite. Now, you can match your trailer color to your chatterbaits, but sometimes having this little extra that is a contrast color really helps get those fish to hone in on this and bite it. Play around with your trailers. Sometimes you may wanna match the, the color profile. Sometimes you might wanna throw something a little different in there to get them biting. With the Spawn Summer, this is my go-to. I really like the presentation here. It still keeps it pretty compact, but with these 
claws being spread out, giving a lot of action to this. This is where I find the best bites, the largest bites, is from something in this type of presentation. Again, it's up to you if you wanna contrast the colors or not. Play with it, see what you think, but this right here will definitely get smoked. It'll get chomped on big time. The Rage Menace and the Rage Craw are both the four inch version. What I like to do though is trim off just a little bit of these just so they fit a little better and they're not too long. I want them, again, to be really compact and to help make this presentation really stand out. I don't want them to be overly long where maybe fish are just hitting the tails and not getting that hook. So I'll trim off just a little bit with these. I smell this. Smell it again, show daddy how you smell it. Go this way, show them how you smell it. Ooh, is it stinky? Mm. Do you think the fish will like it? Yeah. Can you smell it again? <laughs> now last but not least, my end of summer and fall bite when those fish are really trying to bulk up for winter and they're looking for a real big presentation, this is my go-to. Now this jackhammer is the black and blue and I've got a Rage Swimmer swim bait on the back here. Comment below, I wanna hear from you. If you put a swim bait on a chatter bait, do you rig it like a standard swim bait or do you turn it over and keep that paddle tail in like the up position? I wanna hear from you. For me, I've always rigged it like a standard swim bait. Some guys will turn the swim bait over so it's almost like this where the, the blade is up and the tail is up to try to create more action. Rigging it this way with the swim bait of course, this swim bait, this paddle tail is really giving a lot of action. You've got this tremendous action from the blade on the chatter bait. This thing is just killer. It's kicking off a lot of vibration. It's giving off a lot of disturbance in the water. Fish can really pick up on it and get this thing. I feel that this really shines in like August, September, when you got a lot of schools of bait fish together and you'll have like either big pike, big bass ambushing them. You throw something like this in the middle of all of that and you're gonna get bit. I feel that this is for warm weather when it's really giving off a lot of disturbance with that tail as well. For me on the Rage Swimmer, I like the 3.75 version. That's what is right here. Of course, there's a few others and you could trim this down a little bit if you wanted it, but I still feel that this big presentation, a bass is gonna be able to come and hit it and not just short strike it, I've also had really good luck with these plastics that they hold up very well. So comment below, do you like the Rage Menace, the Rage Craw, the Rage Swimmer, or is there a different Chatterbait trailer that you like to use? Thank you again guys for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Tight lines everybody, peace.